Oh, you're wonky. Still wonky. Hey babes, welcome to another video. Today it is my October fabric haul and sewing plans. You can see there's a there's a pile behind me here and an semi-empty cubby hole back here there are a fair few plans it's october it's spooky month i have tried to give it a slight theme that kind of did fall out of the window with some of the projects that got added but i am planning on doing geeky ish projects well i mean some of them are very geeky some of them less so but geeky projects this month the first one is another sorrento jacket from the remainder of this dark denim that the very lovely Claire gave to me. So I'm going to be making a skirt from this and then also a denim Sorrento jacket. I will be lining it. Fabrics do not want to come out. With this, which is Star Trek fabric with many, many different angled views of the Enterprise, or the Starfleet logo, and the kind of little communicator badge that they have. This is a cotton silk that I got from Spoonflower. I have three, no, I have three yards, 2.8 meters of this, and I had no idea what I was gonna do with it until it kind of came to me that it would be the perfect lining for this denim jacket. The fabric colors are gonna look really nice together. It is obviously geeky, Star Trek, and it's gonna go really well with the, hundred odd pounds worth of geeky patches that I have to add to my Sorrento jacket. That's the whole point of this jacket is to let my geek freak flag fly. I am a huge fan of many many different or well, huge yeah many huge fan of many different fandoms uh doctor who star trek star wars buffy the vampire slayer the magicians farscape I, I love all things Terminator. So just um, uh, the Loki ones, Marvel Universe, Deadpool, there was a whole bunch of different patches in this bag that I got from Etsy and I will try and list as many of them, of them as I can down below. I just love the idea of a patched denim jacket. I still have a few more patches that I wanna buy. I haven't got all of them. I have a list in my book and I don't know if I'm going to actually end up with any space left on this jacket to add those patches to so I may be making another one in the future but I am really excited about this project I think it's going to look lovely the basic jacket itself I can make in a day it's going to be sewing on all the patches that is going to be the time consuming portion the majority of these are iron on they have like the, the sticky backing on them which I will be doing but I do want to go through and then stitch them on as well. I have a feeling that it's going to be easier and neater for me to do this by hand than it is to do it by machine. But we shall see. I will experiment and I will take you guys along with me. So that is the first of my geeky projects and I'm very, very excited about it. Okay, next up, one of the lovely peeps pointed me in the direction of a company that printed these fabric panels. And I'm really sorry, I have completely forgotten who it was and the name of the shop that they've come from. I have two labyrinth panels. This one with the David Bowie owl. The panel itself is a lot big enough for a front of a adult size t-shirt. I have this one which is from the ball. Again, large enough for an adult size t-shirt. And then whilst I was there, they also had this one. And this is before Game of Thrones had finished and we know about Danny Aris as much as we do. So we've got Tyrion on in large and in his kind of like body there it's him bowing to Danny Eris becoming her hand I think it is which yeah again large enough to make a front panel of a t-shirt so these were all kind of like overstocked pieces that you could just buy I wasn't part of the pre-order they didn't have any of the coordinating fabrics uh, to buy in the meterage to go with them to kind of like so you get exactly the same color gray as it were so i went to lily and mimi who is one of my favorite stockists of french terry in the uk and i got a couple of meters of navy a couple of meters of white and a couple of meters of gray mile french terry i plan on making up some geeky jumpers with those motifs in the center front of panel of the jumper and then cutting apart some of the other colored paneled pieces to add in as either neck bindings or cuffs or 
depending on the pattern I use like different trims so I'm planning on trying to use the Susan jumper I think it's Susan I hope I've got this right it's from Schnitzen Patterns I'm sorry to name away from my terrible pronunciation Schnitzen Patterns Katrin and Susan I think that's right and then the Misusu and again I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong stereo sweater I've made the two Schnitzen Patterns previously and I like the details on them but they I, I've given both of them to my niece because they were too long and I like my sweatshirts to sit at my waist to crop in and cinch at my waist so that it shows off that I do have a waist because if they with where they came to on my hips it just highlighted my largest point and I went straight up and down and in my head it it wasn't a look that I liked on me so as I say my niece has those ones now what I'm planning on doing is cropping both of those patterns with and putting in a waistband and just making them cropped jumpers the same I think the stereo sweater is already cropped or comes with a cropped option from what I remember I really like the stereo sweater because there's lots of panels in at the neckline and on the sleeves which will be great because I'm going to have like these three basic colors which I think work really well with all the colors from these but these brighter ones I'll be able to put in like the flushes of the brighter color here and then have the darker French terry kind of frame those as it were. I'm also planning because this is a cotton jersey and obviously a lot lighter weight than the French terry. I'm also planning on interlining these panels with a layer of French terry so that and the same with any other pieces so that the whole thing kind of has the same sort of structure. So they are going to be three fairly simple projects to do and we all know how quickly some knit patterns come together the simpler the better these ones all have a little bit more of a level of difficulty in them because of the amount of panels and as I say the interlining and then the working out of wh which color is going to go where but I think it's going to be a really fun project and I'm also really looking forward to having these panels made up because for the longest time I had no idea what to do with them because I couldn't make a garment that would work for me out of just the one panel and I didn't like the idea of using the coloured panel on the front and not having it tie in anywhere else so I'm excited about this project I think it's going to be awesome I'm going to have geeky jumpers at the end of it and perfectly in time for when the weather starts getting cooler so yeah very excited about this mass of fabric turning into three jumpers Yay. Next up we have a refashion project. So when I was going through my little stash of fabrics that I had left over I found a decent chunk, um, a good sort of metre of this Alexander Henry Brains and Beauty pin-up zombie gorgeous. My battery died, I think that one is actually dead, it lasts for about 20 minutes and then just gives up the ghost even though it's been fully charged for an evening. Uh, anyway, where was I? Brains and Beauty. Yes, so I have a good kind of metre of this Brains and Beauty fabric left over and I had previously made a By Hand London Anna dress with a just gathered skirt into it because of the type of print that it was. I literally think cu I cut out three rectangles of the fabric and have gathered them down and smooshed them on. I went for a mauve waistband which I actually do really like and I'm hoping that I have some more of this fabric in my stash. I'm not sure that I do. If I don't then I will have a look through and see what solid coloured uh, quilting cottons I've got that would match in with this but I want to remake this dress because there is absolutely no chance that I can fit into this <laughs> I don't want to break the zip like I did on the red silk dress that I tried on and this is made from that same pattern so I thought what I would do is unpick this and I would keep the bodice and the waistband because the waistband not going to fit me either there's not enough seam allowance in here to let the waistband out either before anyone says there is definitely not enough seam, seam allowance in here to let this out and make it fit me I'm going to need to remake it but I have the fabric for that so I thought what I would do is make a new bodice out of this one I would take this bodice off but keep it just in case you never know I might lose more weight in the future and it would be nice to be able to put this bodice back onto the skirt if that is the case so keep this one make a new bodice at my new size and remake this dress because I, I, I don't I can't wear any of my semi-naked lady dresses because none of them fit me most of them I don't have any spare fabric but this one 
I happen to have this extra meter of fabric and rather because it was in the bag making stash and rather than use it for a bag lining which would it would have been what I would get eventually get around to doing with it I thought a bodice that fits me now would allow me to wear one of my semi-naked lady dresses and I do love them so I am pleased about this perfect for Halloween so that is going to be my refashion project for this month okay I do have a couple of other projects that I would like to get to this month but I still have seven projects from last month to get through as well so I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through everything that I wanted to make this month and get those seven projects completed and I do really want to do those seven projects so I'm going to show you one last thing which is the Deer and Doe cardamom dress. I have put this on my Make 9, it will be the last of my Make 9 pieces to get made. Uh, currently the myosotis is cut out, ready to be sewn, so it's nearly complete. This will be the last one of my Make 9, which is amazing! I will have made my Make 9 in a year, that has never happened before. This dress I really really love, I again am going to make a few changes to this one. The sleeves are 3 quarter length sleeves, I want to make them full length sleeves, and I actually think I want to make them a little bit fuller than they currently are and I have a plan to make the kind of pinafore part of the dress out of one fabric and one of those fabrics is this old gold needle cord that I got from Lady McElroy they sent this to me in error it was meant to be Cadbury purple it is definitely not Cadbury purple they sent messaged me and said we are very sorry would you like to keep it for half price or you can send it back to us and it was so pretty I can it. So I have three meters of this which is going to be more than enough for this project. I'm going to use this for the kind of pinafore part of the bodice and the skirt and then for the fabric for the what looks like the shirt and the sleeves I'm going to use Savannah. I have it's it's in there so that's why I've not got it out. You know what Savannah looks like. I'll put some on screen for you but I am going to use my Savannah viscose um, scraps I do have eight meters of it left still but I have got lots of large scrap pieces as well so I'm going to use as many of my scraps to make the shirt portion or the bib portion and the collar and the sleeves like I say I'm probably going to make the sleeves slightly fuller I like the skirt on this one but I have a feeling that I might want to make the skirt slightly fuller as well I'm definitely going to want to make the skirt longer but that is the plan for the cardamom dress believe it or not that's going to be my wearable muslin because I also have this Robert Kaufman brushed cotton flannel fabric that I've had in my stash for the longest time. This is really expensive and I have I think two and a half meters of this that was intended to be a Deer and Doe Brie shirt and I'm not ruling out doing that if I don't like how the old gold Savannah cardamom comes out but if I do like it I think this would be a really good candidate for the main body of the dress as well with this Swiss dot viscose that I've got let's see if we can see like hopefully you can see there's some texture on there as the you kind of like undershirt of the pinafore as it were we were talking about this during one of the hangouts and the peeps were like yeah tartan with this would look amazing and I completely agree that's the only tartan fabric I have in my stash and I do think it would look really nice as that combination if I like how the first cardamom comes out so that is something that I would like to aim at to get done this month but this fabric was in with my anaconda antithesis collection so if this one doesn't get made up if I like it but I don't have enough time to get this one made up this will go back in with that collection as will the Swiss dot and that will it will get made into this dress if if I like it at some point but I do have plans for two if the original comes out or if the wearable muslin comes out as I am envisioning it but we all know that my brain kind of like glosses over certain areas of issues and things like that for example with both of these I'm going to fully line the outer the, the bodice and the skirt because the, I would this is the kind of dress that I would want to be able to wear with tights and this would stick to tights even with a slip on so I'm going to fully line the skirt of this and also the old gold totally fully line all of that because it will just make wearing it in the winter months a much more pleasant experience which is what we all want isn't it so yeah that's the final plan for October so uh, how many things is that one two three four five six seven and then a repair 
as well as the previous month's unfinished items as well. So it's quite a lot. That is quite a lot, which is why I'm not talking about the Sicily slip dress, even though the Patreon peeps have voted and picked a fabric for that one. That one is in my head a party dress and we're coming into party dress season so it doesn't need to be done in October it just needs to be done before party dress season is completely over so at some point Patreon peeps that one will get made it's just not going to be this month so let me know in the comment section down below which one you are looking forward to seeing made up most I am very excited about the geeky jumpers and the Sorrento jacket with all the patches on it. I think both of those things are going to be awesome. They're going to make me really happy. I'm going to be really pleased that I'll have them and also that I finally found something to do with those panels of fabric that I've I've put back there. I am also really looking forward to seeing how the cardamom turns out. I think that one's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be nice to refashion something as well to, you know, just give myself a little bit of a different project. We all know how I feel about alterations, but I'm calling this a refashion even though it's making exactly the same dress and just a larger size. So we won't dwell on that too much if it's all right. But I kind of like the idea of being able to wear that one again and because I have the fabric to do it it just this seems like the perfect time for my October I can wear that I could wear that one to my pain clinic appointment on Halloween <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, let me know in the comment section down below which one you're looking forward to seeing made up and why. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!